with the ready. So let's count down game number one. And of course, if you want to support the players, Kingsman just used the match Reno command there in three, two, one. Tetris. And Canine, thank you for the bits. Yes, Max Out Club, definitely very good experience. I'm surprised it didn't catch on as much as it did. We have King, I think we uh, definitely have an idea. Yes, use those claim codes up. It's literally free, free money the prize pool. Andy ahead by a whole single. His dog playing perfect through the first 12 lines. Set up for another Tetris. The bar comes. So just down by a single. Andy's burned one line. And King, if your idea is to use Max Out Club for all Div 1 matches, I like that idea. It was high key. Not, not even. Not even. Not even a bad idea at all. It looks crisp. I mean, it gives you a sharpener. in a little bit of a burning situation to start off here. Well, dog only is burned a little bit here. Four lines. Five lines now burned for dog. Takes the Tetris going the 232. Well, 212 for Andy through 45 lines. Gets the Espen and a Tetris. A little bit of an early lead here for dog playing Tetris, but nothing too crazy. He's only burned a little bit more. But it's allowed for there to be just under a Tetris lead for dog in the early stages of this 18 play of game number one. If I'm not mistaken. It won't be OCR'd or anything. But I... Th or is that just for the recordings? Uh, it's something that Maxwell Club can keep track of. Anyway. Instead of worrying about that. Let's talk about how Dog opened up more than a Tetris lead now here through 71 lines from the 393. Moving a little bit. And takes another Tetris here to go to five or 416,000 points. Takes another Tetris. And another one, they go to 461. And he down by about 58,000 points here through 86 lines. So Dog opening up a little bit of a strong lead through the early stages here. Of course, these two are no strangers to playing or with playing against each other. at 576 
a little bit of a drought forming here. Both players. And the bar comes and both knock down Tetris. 622 for Dog. Make it 645 through 121 lines. When that burn there. I should take the triple and then take a Tetris. Playing a little high up here, just waiting for the bar. And gets the bar Tetris into transition at 693. And another one immediately after the 717. So 100,000 point lead here for Dog. So th these two have played each other 19 times with Dog leading the series 15 to 4. And he would like to change that dynamic up. It's dogging a little bit of a high up dig. So is Andy. Andy knocks down the bar for the Tetris though. Dog still trying to uncover everything here. Nice little flat rooftop burn there with that L for dog. Now is going to be open up and clean the start scoring, but Andy can't quite get that T all the way over. It's the bar over. Is set. oh overrolls overrolls that piece. And Andy's board falling apart here. And that's gonna be at 687. So dog will get heart number one and goes up one nothing here. So then we can count down game number two. And five. Four, three, two, one, Tetris. And we are off. Neither of the brothers decided to start tapping. It's been funny. Andy the first to take a burn. Both players doing very well through the early stages. I mean, Andy deciding the tap. Trying to avoid facing Gerald underscore Freeman. <laughs> now I want to set up for the finals. Gerald versus Andy in the finals is money. And Kingsman only books money. Tetris for Andy now going to 151. Dog only slightly ahead, but with that Tetris will go to 176. And he counters to the Tetris of his own to go to 174. But still a very small lead here for Dog playing Tetris on the left. Andy almost all the way opened up and is open up on the right side now. I think at 205,000 points through 56 lines, taking a Tetris for the 228. Dog creating a bar dependency. Column 7 takes the Tetris first. Waiting for another one to fill it out instead. Okay, interesting. I mean, it's what you gotta do. And it's gonna use that bar there to at least burn one of the lines. Yeah, taking the Tetris in that situation is like arguably one of the only times it was better. Even with roll, it's still 
trying to fill the dependency would have been really risky. The drought kind of hitting both the players, hitting Dog a little differently. With that high right side. I mean, Andy's right side's hard, or high as well, but that's because he's building the left well. Dog takes the Tetris, lowers the stack, 330. Out solid Tetris and change the lead here. And you're keeping this left well. 348,000 points in the lead. Behind in lines. Takes a Tetris to cement that further. Of course, the winner of the set will go on to face Gerald Freeman. In the first round winner's bracket match. And the loser of this match will go on to face Sidnev. So... You know, there's a lot of weight riding on who wins this and who loses. I don't know if the players would have a preference, whether it's get revenge type situation. Or what? I mean, there's a lot of good stories to be told in this playoffs, continuing on from last season and just building on more and more of a narrative that's been growing with Sidnev, with Daw, with Andy and Gerald at the top four. I mean, there's a whole story with Sidnev just coming so close so many times. And just unfortunately not being able to capitalize either in ETL, CTM, uh, some IRL events. Dog, I mean, just showing his dominance as a player always. Andy trying to show that he is not in his brother's shadow. Such a great story, winning his first in-person event down in Waco. Add, wants to keep adding on to that. And Dog winning CTL last season, of course, wants to continue the streak. Depends his championship. Gerald wants to show, you know, that he's not a fluke. Dog down by about a Tetris here, but Andy does have to do some burning. And Tetris 4 Dogs, only down by 7,000 points. People do. People do, Gerald. I don't, I don't get it. People thought your CTM victory was a fluke. People think your domination in CTL is a fluke. And it's not like you're playing against me. You are, you fight hard, Gerald. Don't discredit yourself. You are a very solid player. And you're in a pool with some very solid players. You'll never win CTM again. There's a reason for that. Because you're not playing CTM again. <laughs> but. Uh, gets the perfect time bar there to lower the stack. Gets the Tetris. 835, 10 lines ahead of Andy though. Andy's down about 80,000, so it is a very close game here. I'm oh, sorry, geez. Listen, <laughs> the fact that we have a match here is good enough. <laughs> Mentally spent. But yeah, it's gonna be this playoff's gonna be phenomenal. I mean, I can't wait to see what's in store, match quality wise. And he has to be careful here. It's a nice Tetris and takes a triple. 
I'm not gonna cap though. Counter, uh, counter pick caps. Seems like it'd be fun to at least try once. The dog does have the max out already. Gets the Tetris. One more available, but does have a little, a little bit of a holy stack. Andy will transition with one more Tetris. Or transitions with that single 1,005,000 points for Andy into 29. Dog at 1.13. So we are off to the race to 39. Hi, Cobra. I, I'm thinking of trying some personal Satan's Playhouse stuff, but that's, now is not the time to talk about that. This dog, one second this beautifully, and the, oh, that flat burn with that bar was just absolutely beautiful. Makes the triple, lowers the stack down, still down about 100,000 points. Dog, any second now could just get a bad set of pieces and be dead. Needs a J, not getting the J, getting a bunch of L's. Gets the J over. And hangs that J there. And that's gonna be it for Dog at 1.263 million. So Andy, you need to get B64, C64, C64. That drought hit the players pretty hard there. Andy already on level 34. Trying to get this in style, maybe? I don't know if this is quite line outable with that P misdrop and that bar hang. Oh, but gets the bar for the Tetris! Under a Tetris down. And you're getting drowned here. Was set up. Not the best board here. And you could. Just needs to do some flat burns. Couple more lines. And that will do it. And Andy has tied the setup at one apiece. Ooh. Number three. And we'll start it down. And count it from five, four, three. Two, one, Tetris. J, S, Z, S, bar opener. And then with like 200 IQ opener here from Dog, maybe. And they're just trying to get comfortable situated here. And he gets to take a burn, take some flat rooftop burns. Oh, we are fair going, friends.
So as we're sitting at 36 and 37 lines, Andy with about a Tetris lead, beautiful five and below, uh, with a couple of misdrops. Nothing fatal this drought. Definitely not nice, but I was able to take this down. Beautiful few burns there. Opens up the right side. Gets the bar immediately after covering it. I can imagine Gerald definitely scouting his prey, I mean opponent, for the next game. Which will happen at a different time. I don't know when exactly that'll happen. Dog cleaned up Pixie Tetris now down by about three Tetrises still. Actually, a little over with the Tetris from Andy. 162 to 245. Tetris for Dog. 186 takes another Tetris to close to deficit some more. And he's not going to be able to capitalize with either of those two bars that Dog just scored with. This is really, really interesting game here, about two Tetris is separating them still. Dog actually takes the burn, kind of adjusts to take the burn instead. Still playing high up, 27 piece drought, plus taking these burns, taking it safe every time you have to. So about a 40 drought. <laughs> Thirty-seven pieces per the max out club counter. It's kind of funny that the stream has been going for two hours. Ah, very comical. What's not comical though is the fact how close this game is. Andy with just only over a Tetris lead was ahead by 80,000 points. But now just 9,000 points takes the Tetris to extend the lead back. Go to 389,000 through 102 lines. Definitely a suffer game for both of them. I mean, these are players that could easily be 500k at 100 lines rather consistently. And just having this tough of a game. Some really big drop. Yeah, I'm gonna miss some of the Super Bowl, unfortunately. I mean, at least it's not like a team I care about in there. More sad about missing some food. Uh, parents have food at the, their house, so after this, I'm gonna head over there, watch football, and eat food, drink beer, live life. Soup bowls are really good things you can get from restaurants. Uh, I really like Panera's Cheddar Broccoli. I am not a Chiefs fan. I kind of am annoyed with Patrick Mahomes. I'll explain that a little more after we have our transition scores here with 462,000 for Dog. And Andy Petrus's has one more available, 511 right now. Dog already on level 20, Andy just takes the double, takes the triple, excuse me, into level nine, or 19. So my favorite team is the New York Jets, but, you know, living in western New York, I just cheer for the Bills when I can. And, yeah. Patrick Mahomes just kind of I just don't like him. He's kind of like Brady Light just in terms of being unlikable by everyone that's not a Chiefs fan. It's not just because he wins either, it's just everything about him. How he carries himself as I guess one of the faces of the league. Yeah, some of his commercials he's done for like State Farm are funny. But. I don't know. I just don't really like him. Out of the quarterback, I like, I like Jalen Hurt. 
That dude's pretty cool. I want him to win. But uh, if the Eagles do win, I have a bat with Una actually. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get an Eagles hat, so. Eh. Nice linesman there for Andy, 752, down by just under, just over, or just under two Tetrises. I mean, far from being two Tetrises, but dog takes one there. Yeah, there's uh, Travis Kelsey and his brother, I don't remember his brother's name. They're both in the Super Bowl. Yeah, Jason. I wanted it to be the Diggs brothers, personally. <laughs> I thought that would have been fun. I didn't realize there was another dynamic, or another way to tell that story. I think it would just be hilarious to have, like, conflicted parents. Uh, the, the defensive guy from, I forget his name. Uh, for the Cowboys. True. The Super Bowl actually just copying Tetris story arcs. Yeah. Speaking of Tetris story arcs, dog with the max out. Andy only about Tetris away. Yeah. I only learned that from like... I think Jim Nance mentioned it when... Stephon Diggs' mom was at the game. So dog transitions in the 29 at just the A85. And the 50k down. Transitions with this Tetris to go to A70. Beautiful Tetris there for Dog to get the B41. Andy scores the Tetris into the lead now with the B66. Oh, Dog can't get that all the way over. And that's going to be it for Dog. Andy, by 10,000 points, gets... Game number three. I lost track of the game number. And it is match point. Three, two, one, Tetris. Ah, there we go. Well, not necessarily. Okay, there we go. I've had games where I, they weren't the same piece sets, where I've had like the same first five pieces. Nice little tuck there for the L for Andy. Takes the first burn. I forgot what same piece that's looked like for a second, I'm not gonna lie. Dog open, opens up the hole. Goes in with the square. Beautiful. Hangs the J, though. But that's okay. This is, this is fine. Nice adjustment there for Dog. Hey, Pumpy. Well, if they do, uh, we'll just tell them it's too damn bad. We're having tech issues. <laughs> So this is what you you gotta do. What you gotta do. This Mad Sub Club is the only way we could get this to work. We spent over half an hour trying different ways, and it works out. <laughs> nah, I'll just blame events. Just be like you know, it's it's on you. You sabotage dog's computer. Vince approved layout seems good. Vince is probably too busy playing right now to actually pay attention. If he's if he is playing on Gauntlet. 
Nice burn there for Andy. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. I'm not gonna lie. This has been, as a restreamer, very aesthetically pleasing to watch. So I hope, as a viewer and for the players, this has been actually kind of a better QL uh, quality of life experience. This king, I have some ideas. Oh, Andy. Interesting misdrop there. Not much you can really do in that situation. Thanks, help. Yeah, uh, someone asked earlier and I completely neglected the answer. This is the Tetris Effect soundtrack. Genuinely one of my favorite pieces of video game music ever produced. It's an album that is kind of an emotional road. Oh, that talk was such a beautiful solo for Andy and gets a Tetris. Not only by 16,000. Honestly, like, if we had instant replays in Classic Tetris, that talk, I get it. Andy, so, so beautiful. All these talks. So elegant. Yeah. Like, I, I didn't even see that vest until he tucked it in. He was just extremely good at the game, and I'm so excited to see him not be, you know, potentially in a shadow, or in a shadow, finally butting out, being his own player, not being just Dog's brother. This, I said it at the beginning of the year during our restream for CTL. This is the year of Andy, and I wholly believe that we are living in the year of Andy. If you want to put some early money on CTWC, man on the right, pretty good bet. Like I said though, it's very early, things can happen. There could be a top player five months from now that's not at the top. You know, someone picks up roll. And you see man. Could just be dominating. Yeah. At the same time, like, I do believe Andy's definitely been, he's always been at the top. But I think just the magnitude of how 2020 was really shifted a lot. Andy is down 136,000 points going into the transition. Oh, he takes a couple Tetrises here, so there will be another bar coming for Andy just in a second for the second Tetris. Now, NGC Man, I... I think NGC Man in three or four months will be winning rounds in Masters with Roll. I think he'll roll over within, like, a couple months. I am not kidding you at all. You can hold me to this. There's very few people that have as good stacking fundamentals and knowledge as him. And that will translate amazing with roll. I just know it. Yeah. I guess you can call like Dan V in there. I mean, he's been at the top for a while, but just hasn't really capitalized. But does have a regional win. A couple of regional wins. Speaking of which, Dog, very solid lead here. 884 into level 23. And he's sitting at 745 at 171 lines. Tetris once again. So 
about 170, 140,000 points separating it here. Also, hi, Pumpy. Thank you for responding to my message earlier. And Tetris here for Andy139. Dog swing at already A42. Andy is. I just always feel like there's kind of the dynamic told of it being. Compare, like comparing him to dog yeah sure it's because they're the two best players in the world at you know for a long period of time that naturally will happen with just best players but somehow that like the sibling dynamic just made it feel like almost like backhanded Anyway, I'm excited to see both of these players thriving as always I mean dog was one of the first People I really enjoyed watching or I was even in the community really just it was a player I could get behind he seemed fun playstyle was just especially it's place that was kind of unhinged back in the day so we're gonna have about a hundred and thirty thousand point lead going into 29 people burn and he not going to take the gem dog is getting drowned gets the Tadris going to the 1.2 1.218 Nice Tetris for Andy to go to the 1.1 So a 130,000 point deficit but Andy takes the Tetris and Dog immediately counters with the Tetris of his own This is the kind of game we've been all hoping for this set Some heated, high scoring, efficient 29 And we unfortunately didn't really get it. I mean, we got some really, really close games in the last, the last one for Andy. But Gerald and Sidnev definitely did not have it, unfortunately. So Dog with the 1.4 already takes the Tetris goal 1.44. Andy waiting out for the bar. Gets the bar, but doesn't flip. We have ourselves a decider. Dog finishes out, play it till 39. Get that rollover for everyone here. Oh, it hangs the bar. That's going to be it. And we're going to count it down once it gets to five. In five, four, three, two, one. Tetris. And he's got to be careful here. Full spins. Yeah. Dog still in the top of the picture. And will be for a long time to come. Until he actually probably realistically stops playing. Such an innovator. And then someday he'll retire to just running brawl full time. Get a gig broadcasting CTWC in 20 years. Sit behind the players as they play with some weird play style. All the UFOs that are flying up, you know, when the aliens meet, meet us. They'll teach us a new playstyle in classic Tetris.
Anyways, let's give a little bit of a score update here. Dog saying at 231 through 44 lines, Andy 174. Had to do a little bit of burning to start things off. Nice flat burn there. Thank God Andy is not playing Das. I mean, he brought he could survive that with Das. And Tetris, the hog with a 112,000 point lead. And let's go right back to that with the Tetris. And beautiful Tetris there once again for Andy. So 112,000 point deficit. Andy taking some safe, good burns there. And the touches here for Dog will actually increase the deficit to 125. And he missing the S spin. And Tetris. Four pixel Andy. Nice little accommodating buck set up there for both an L and a square. dog looking for about 530 at 100 lines roughly very solid I mean dog 90% Tetris rate 700k I think it's still possible for the transition and Tetris here for dog takes another one 557 it's gonna be close I'm not sure now that's hard. And he's just staying alive down by 142,000 points. Sure, let's think, dog, don't pause. Brew. And he's still 120,000 points behind. And keep it as close as he can. But this. A little hang up here is just going to be enough for dog to just kind of score. It has two more Tetrises available. Andy swiping his hands off before transition hits. It's gonna, not going to burn. And he's going to need a bar now. And that's going to be it at 466. This drought into transition, which dog's feeling here. It's going to be it, and Dog doesn't care. He's happy. He won. And we'll take it 3 to, three to 2 against Andy. So we have ourselves. Same exact playoffs from last season. Yeah, it was at least 43-piece drought. And if you want to see what this is now, here is our playoffs. We have Gerald Freeman and Dog playing Tetris in the winner's first round. And then in the, I guess, loser's first round, we have Sidnev and Pixel Andy facing off. GG's. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for being patient with us. 
we had some tech issues. Who would have thought that, you know, the 30 plus year old game, the biggest tech issue would be a computer. Thanks for the patience to Andy and Dog. I mean, they live together, so. My pleasure, of course. Now it's time to go uh, watch some soup in a bowl. I've already missed apparently a trailer for The Flash and the new Guardians of the Galaxy and Transformers, so I've already missed everything I wanted to see anyways. I really like uh, how it looked to Max Oakland. I'm gonna be honest, like King, we need, we need to chat about this. 